In an email to Sister Lucy Truth, Lois Gibson wrote, Now, to me, even one of these reports is complete confirmation. I could have done many more, but sometimes less is more. Any one of the three is conclusive so I sense this is totally convincing, all my best, Lois. Sister Lucy Truth consulted Lois Gibson, one of the world's foremost forensic artists who holds the 2017 Guinness World Record for most identifications by a forensic artist. According to a 2012 ABC News story, she has helped Houston's police force solve 1,266 crimes with her forensic work. Mrs. Gibson has provided Sister Lucy Truth with three separate comparison reports that, from a forensic standpoint, conclusively indicate the existence of two separate Sister Lucys. In a private correspondence, she wrote that in her professional opinion even one of these reports would be sufficient for complete confirmation of the existence of two individuals. Our Lady of Fatima Nun Comparison, Number 2 1. The nasal bone of A is narrower than B. 2. This causes the eyebrow hair growth to occur closer together in the horizontal center of the superciliary arch of A compared to the wider apart eyebrows of B. 2. The eyes are closer together due to 1. Three, the bottom third of the nose is narrower in A compared to B. The nostril holes of A are rounder, more visible when viewed frontally and those holes are closer together on A than on B. The nasal holes of A are a different shape than the nasal holes of B. 4. A's philtrum, the distance from the bottom of the nose to the top edge of the top lip, is longer than B's philtrum. 5. The lips of A are narrower on the horizontal plane than B. The top lip of A is wider on the vertical plane than B's top lip. 6. The bottom lip of A is thicker on the vertical plane and protrudes further forward beyond the horizontal indention below the lips compared to B. 6. Mrs. Gibson has provided Sister Lucy Truth with three separate comparison reports that, 
from a forensic standpoint, conclusively indicate the existence of two separate sister Lucys. There is no perfect comparison between the same individual in separate photos. However, it is possible to know when the individuals in different photos are not the same. Due to the various completely different facial structures of individual A compared to B, it is impossible, these are the same woman. 1. The foreheads show much different underlying frontal bones. The superciliary arch of B protrudes forward much more than A. 2. The noses are a different shape with B, having a larger, rounder, and more downward angled tip which cannot be explained by cartilage growth. 3. The philtrum, distance from the top of the nose to the top edge of the top lip, is longer on A than B. 3. The lips on A are thicker and narrower on the horizontal plane than B, with A's bottom lip protruding forward much more than B. 4. Dentures, should they be involved, would replicate the pre-existing dentition and thus not cause such a drastic difference. 4. The horizontal mental indention below the bottom lip is wider on the vertical plane on A and indents deeper below the bottom lip on A than on B. 5. The mental protuberance of B projects forward to a drastic extent far different from the mental protuberance of A which recedes below the bottom lip. There is no plastic surgery that could accomplish this, nor would it be offered or desired. 't this writer, Lois Gibson, has successfully reconstructed faces with only the skulls of unidentified murder victims and has written a textbook about this subject, Forensic Art Essentials, 2007. A and B are shown at a much different age in this photo comparison. Even taking that age difference into consideration, the drastic lighting shows that B's Mental protuberance of her mandible is larger and thrusts much farther forward from her facial plane than A. The aging process would cause the mandible to shrink, not grow larger. Said more simply, the chins of A and B have a drastically different shape. This drastic difference in the mandible area shows these cannot be the same individual. There is no plastic surgery that would make A's chin look like B's chin. Differences described in 1 through 5 in Our Lady of Fatima Nun Comparison 2 also hold true in the above individuals even considering the large age difference and the presence of glasses on B.
A final message from Dr. Peter Hoynowski, founder of Sister Lucy Truth. The videos in this series present the definitive judgment of Lois Gibson, world record holding forensic artist, concerning the substitution of an imposter for the real Sister Lucy of Fatima around the year 1960. What overwhelmed us when we received her report was the certainty that characterized her judgment. The person portrayed in pictures of Sister Lucy Dos Santos through the 1950s, could not be the same person who first appeared with Paul VI on May 13, 1967, and in subsequent meetings and outings from 1982 onwards to the purported death of Sister Lucy in 2005. We at Sister Lucy Truth, often receive questions from the experts who look at this evidence asking us why this clear case of substitution and imposture has not been investigated and made public before. While secular professionals clearly identify and see as almost obvious the sharp differences between the two women, Catholics and Fatimists are in stubborn and unseeing denial. We at Sister Lucy Truth saw the problem, submitted all the possible evidence, and received with astonishment the results. Our astonishment stemmed from the certainty characterizing the reports and from the fact that we ourselves had been blind to what was staring us in the face for so long. We are blind no longer. This is only the beginning.